What's up guys and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm bringing you yet another wig review. This time from a company called Elf Wigs. Just like all of my other wig reviews, an important disclaimer, the wig that I'm going to be reviewing in this video was given to me for free for the purpose of doing an honest wig review for you guys. I'm not being paid for this video and regardless of whether I have received a product for free or paid for it myself, I'm always going to be completely honest about how I feel about the product. So all of that being said, let's get into the review. So here is what I got in the mail. It comes in a very cute little pastel paint box. Bonus points for that. In terms of shipping, this came exceptionally quick. This came in only five days, which is probably one of the quickest shipping times I've had for a wig. And it's also really great, of course, if you are in con crunch mode and you need the wig for a convention that's coming up really soon. Inside we have, of course, the wig. And then underneath we have a cute little pink egg-shaped comb. This is very cute. I've never had one that is this shape. That's very adorable. Then we also have a netted wig cap. So different from the other wigs, they have more of kind of like the stocking style wig cap. This is the netted wig cap. And then, this is something I've never seen before, it also came with a little necklace which has a little masquerade mask as the charm, which I think is adorable. Again, I've never had that with any wig that I've worn before, so that was a nice little bonus. Um, so just like I've said in previous wig reviews, if this is your first wig and you don't have a wig cap or a comb, you'll be all set when you order it. As for the wig itself, I am very excited at this one. I, of course, ordered this very nice curly brown wig because I am planning to redo my Katara cosplay that I did back when I was like 13. And so I figured having a nice lace front wig would be good for that. Uh, checking this out, I am very excited by the quality. If you guys have watched my wig reviews in the past, you know that there are certain points that I like to hit on. Um, I don't think I'll be outlining those before I get into it. I'll just get into the review and touch on all those points because by this time you guys probably know what I'm gonna talk about already. So we'll just get into that. So taking a look at the lace, I have to say this lace front is absolutely gorgeous. It has a very natural looking hairline, probably one of the more natural hairlines of the ones that I've had. It has a very nice little widow's peak at the top here, which will help make it more natural. And it does give you a very good amount of lace on the inside. You get about, about an inch or so, which is a very good amount of lace. So that is fantastic. The wig itself is very, very thick, certainly as thick as you would expect for the price range and the fibers look really, really nice and very, very natural, especially in natural sunlight. I will be showing footage of what it looks like in natural light and indoor light. It does have a bit of a sheen with the indoor light, but I feel like that is what natural uh, brown hair looks like when it is under this kind of indoor lighting. Overall, just looking at it, it does really look like natural hair and certainly hits all the points that you would expect for the price point. Taking a look inside, we have uh, three combs. We have two at the side and one in the back to help secure it without the use of bobby pins, which will help it look more natural and will keep you from having to worry about your weave sliding back because nobody wants that. So, so far I am very, very happy with how this wig looks. I'm very excited to try this out and um, overall it just looks really, really natural. And like I said before, hits all of the points that you would expect for the price range. This is a higher price point wig. So obviously you're going to expect certain quality for that price. And I definitely think that this fits the bill, so to speak. So uh, just like normal, I'm going to cut off the lace in the front and then try it on and show you guys what it looks like. All right, so here we are. This is only the second long brown wig that I've ever owned and like ever tried on. So it's really different seeing myself with brown hair, but I am really enjoying how this looks. In particular, I really love how natural this hairline looks because the hair in the front has a nice little bit of volume so that's not just like flat. It actually kind of like perks up a little bit, which looks really nice. And the Widow's Peak here, it looks very nice and very natural, which I really like. That's probably my favorite part of this wig. Up close, you can definitely see that it is a lace front wig just because of how dark the fibers are compared to the lace. But of course, from you know a reasonable distance, it does look like a natural hairline. So that is really great. In terms of fit, it fits really, really well. I've said this before, I have a lot of hair underneath, but this fits me like I said, really well, it's very comfy. If you do have a larger head than normal, I'm not sure how easily it would fit you, but if you do have a normal size head and if you have a lot of hair, it will definitely fit you quite well. Overall, I think the fibers look really great. They do hold up pretty well under the lighting. It does have a bit of a shine to it, but I feel like natural brown hair can have that same shine. Again, I do have shots of what it looks like in both lighting, so you can kind of judge for yourself if you like the shine or not. I really, really love the style of it, and I think the fibers look really great, and they're very, very soft and very nice, and the whole thing is very thick. Sometimes wigs uh, up here in particular where the hair parts um, will show the wig cap underneath, but I'm having no trouble 
um, with the netting, you know, staying covered. So overall, I think this looks great. No complaints, really. It hits all of the points that you would expect for a wig of this price point and um, definitely is a good lace front wig. So overall, I give this wig a thumbs up and I'm very excited to use it for my cosplays and photo shoots that are coming up. If you guys are interested in picking up one of these wigs for yourselves, Elf Wigs did give me a discount code, which I will have right here, as well as in the description, and this will give you a whole $25 off, which is a very, very good discount. So again, if you guys are interested in checking out their wigs or picking up this particular wig, I'll have all of that information down in the description. And if you guys want to see photos of this wig, I do always post photos to my Instagram and my Tumblr. So keep an eye out over there if you want to see this wig in use, what it looks like in various lighting situations, etc. And of course, I want to thank all of you guys for watching. I hope you guys found this review helpful. And as always, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, pan faces, please be sure to take care. Bye!